What is up you guys? It's Katya Books and welcome back to the channel. I am glad to have you guys here. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. But yeah, if you have been here already before and you knew what was coming up because I told you guys last week what to expect, welcome. And we are here with this protein that, oh my gosh, I actually am quite surprised that they finally came out with a vegan protein because I've waited quite a long time and I remember actually like, I think I messaged them on Twitter or something be like, yeah, when's the vegan protein gonna come out? And then saying, More soon. And there wasn't any big thing I remember on Instagram, at least, I, don't, I can't remember if I'm following this company on Instagram, but back in my days of GNC, I remember this brand, but I don't think I ever really tried their protein powders. Isopure had those like clear drinks that were pretty good, but those have whey protein in it. So I was like, okay, well maybe they'll come up with like a low carb, probably not a zero carb, but a plant protein, which they did. And so I got all three flavors. So yes, this is by Nature's Best. Well, it's Nature's Best by Isopure. So if you've heard of that brand already, that's what this is. Um, but yeah, so they came out with a plant-based protein, which is a pea and brown rice protein powder. So it gives you your full omegas, everything. I mean, it looks like it's just a simple pre-work or post-workout kind of protein, not like anything with like, oh, it has a greens blend. Super simple. So I'm gonna break it down for you guys because we got vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. Always excited for strawberry, yes. But yeah, so it just says ingredient-wise, pea protein, brown rice protein, natural flavor, xanthan gum, beet juice powder for color for at least this guy. Then it's got stevia, monk fruit, extract, citric acid, and guar gum. So super, super clean, simple ingredients, nothing crazy. And yeah, you have your full amino profile. So I'm super excited to dive into these. So I am gonna try all three of them with you guys today. So I'm pretty pumped can't complain but yeah macro wise we've got strawberry which is 110 calories actually they're all 110 calories the only one that differs a little bit is the chocolate so both strawberry and vanilla have 1.5 grams of fat 3 grams of carbs and 20 grams of protein chocolate has 2 grams of fat 4 carb 20 protein so yeah I mean it's I like that it, across the board is fairly this same you know because sometimes you'll get another brand of protein and you're like oh i want to try their vanilla or the chocolate but then the calories and the macros are completely different and you're like oh but i want to stick to my macros if you meal prep something like that i don't know but it doesn't matter i think all right <laughs> whatever you guys let's just mix these up because i know you guys want to know what they taste like all right so i tried to mix these as best as i could i brought my little this frother, but I guess the batteries are dead, so I literally just stirred it. So, uh, let's hope it works. But otherwise, I wanted to point out something was interesting that I've noticed with this protein out of all of the proteins is right when you open it, after you take off the plastic wrap, there's no film thing to take off. Which, I mean, they have that protective thing, but I thought that was interesting because it, it is annoying when you have to like rip up that thing. But, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. How do you guys feel about that? Like, if there's no protective, like, paper thing, you know what I'm talking about? But anyways, I love that they added the beetroot to just add that extra red color to this. Because we've got a nice Neapolitan going on. So, I mix it to the best of my ability. So, here, I'm going to move these guys out of the way so you can see my face and I don't accidentally spill everywhere. But hopefully it's mixed up well enough. I mean, for just doing it with the end of a spoon, um, it, I would say it mixed pretty darn well. So let's start with the classics. We've got some vanilla. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. It's all right. I mean, tastes like vanilla protein. That's what I like about it. I mean, it's not like overwhelmingly like, oh my gosh, I could make this into like vanilla ice cream. Like, especially when I make my protein ice cream, I love vanilla. Vanilla is actually my favorite ice cream flavor. So, yeah, but I I don't hate it. But I'm not like, this is the best that I've ever had. Mm. Yeah, I could tell, like, I didn't mix it super well. But then again, the ingredients are, like, super, super basic. Because, yeah, natural flavors, anthem gum, stevia, 
monk fruit. So I like that it's really clean. I'm guessing the natural flavor is whatever vanilla flavor they add to it. So I wish they would say like vanilla bean or something. Because you're like, what is natural flavor? But it's very good. I really like it. Mm. Alright, so for the chocolate, mixed it to the best of my ability, of course. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, this is really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'm liking the chocolate, you guys. I'd give this like an 8 out of 10. This is like a 7.5, where I like it. It's clean. The macros are great, um, but it's not like 10 out of 10. And this one is definitely not 10 out of 10, because I could say that I've had better chocolate-flavored protein powders, but it's definitely up there, and it's, again, for having such clean ingredients and being super simple, it's very good. Mm, mm. I also hit shoulders today, so if I'm looking a little extra pumped, that's why, so. All right, and then last but not least, strawberry. I'm so excited. Let me stir this up a little more, but um, oh my gosh. If you have been following me for quite some time, you know, I've talked about how I like strawberry protein powders, and it's hard to find a vegan strawberry protein powder, so I so pure, please. Oh, it smells like strawberries. Okay, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Mmm. This is so good. Whereas with the Red Con, it did not really taste like strawberry. It was super light. This, they owned in on the flavor. I am loving it. And I'm loving the addition of the color. So good. I highly, highly recommend it. Oh my gosh. And texture-wise, I just want to say that it is really smooth. No grit whatsoever, especially for being brown rice and pea protein. Usually those tend to be quite gritty, but it's very smooth. And once again, I mix this all with just the end of a spoon. So, so just imagine putting in a smoothie, putting in your shaker cup, it's going to blend seamlessly, I would say. So... Alright guys, so to wrap up this video, give you my full consensus of what I thought of Isopure's vegan protein powder. Highly, 10 out of 10, I recommend. I absolutely would say go for it. Um, I will mention, so I did get this on Amazon. It was, I think, $24.99 each of them, and they do have 20 servings. So it is a little more than a dollar per serving. So if you're someone who's stingy on a dollar, Maybe not, but quality macros, like definitely this will be my go-to um, if I were to enter a prep and I was like super low carb and just wanted a good quality protein that also tasted good, I would so go with a brand like this. And it's on Amazon, so you get really quick shipping. That always helps. So I would say go try it, you guys. I mean, it's delicious. And I totally underestimated Isopure for creating this because sometimes it's a little skeptical I'll be honest when you find a popular brand that's usually making whey protein and then they come out with a vegan protein you never know how it's gonna be because usually if it's a vegan company they know what they're doing they are have been in the lab trying to create like the best flavors possible so hopefully Isopure comes out with more flavors like please somebody come out with a really good peanut butter protein powder that's also fairly low carb because the Orgain one is great, but it's higher in carb and I love that one, but yeah. So otherwise, yeah. So if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Let me know down below what other protein or pre-workouts you guys want me to try out. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Join the family, I'd love to have you. Say hi down below. I'd love to respond to your comments or questions. Just be kind, please. You know, I'm not, I'm not being mean to you guys, so be kind. Otherwise, stay tuned for the next video because we have a try-on of two different fitness clothing brands. So I will like leave it at that for you guys to guess because we are gonna do a side-to-side -side comparison of two popular fitness liking brands and so yeah don't forget to then click the notification bell so you know when that video comes out that's my phone i'll see you guys in the next video bye